and welcome to News Brief, a production of the Government Information Service. I am Nivalo Geist. 150 travel advisors have said yes to St. Lucia at the St. Lucia Tourism Authority hosted Global Romance Summit. The Say Yes to St. Lucia Global Summit, organized by the St. Lucia Tourism Authority, SLTA, brought together travel advisors from the USA, UK, Canada, and the Caribbean. Professionals versed in transformation, design, and adventure presented on the best ways to sell St. Lucia as the ideal destination for love and leisure. At the event, Minister for Tourism, Investment, Creative Industries, Culture and Information, Honorable Dr. Ernest Delay, committed to improving St. Lucia's tourism product even as the country continues to receive accolades. The Say Yes to St. Lucia Global Summit was held from 13th to 17th October 2022. St. Lucia joined the rest of the world in recognizing World Standards Day on Friday, 14th October 2022. In an address to the nation given by the Honorable Emma Hippolyte, Minister for Commerce, Manufacturing, Business Development, Cooperatives and Consumer Affairs, she called for St. Lucians to meet the set industry and manufacturing standards recognized globally. She stated, quote, as a small island developing state, which wants to affirm its presence and participation on the global stage, we must place emphasis on standards and our national quality infrastructure. The government of St. Lucia has placed the implementation of a national quality policy as priority on the agenda of our national development strategy. We recognize that while the administrative structure of government can create and implement policy to realize this, our culture must also be reflective of a people who embrace and engender the concept of standards to improve constantly our quality of life." End quote. The minister went on to elaborate on the importance of the national quality policy, infrastructure, and lauded St. Lucia Bureau of Standards for the successful role they have played in its implementation. This year's international theme for World Standards Day is Shared Vision for a Better World. The Department of Home Affairs and the Honorable Dr. Virginia Albert Poyot, Minister for the Public Service, Home Affairs, Labor and Gender Affairs, last week joined in the commemoration of the International Day of the Girl Child, which took place on Tuesday, October 11th, 2022. The theme, Our Time is Now, Our Rights, Our Future, is deemed to be a fitting one as it brings into focus the rights of girls to have access to the opportunities that will position and prepare them to fulfill their potential and to have a successful productive future. The year 2022 commemorates the 10th anniversary of the International Day of the Girl. According to the United Nations quote, women and girls represent half of the world's population and therefore also half of its potential. Gender equality, besides being a fundamental human right, is essential to achieve peaceful societies with full human potential and sustainable development. Moreover, it has been shown that empowering women spurs productivity and economic growth." End quote. In 1995, at the World Conference on Women in Beijing, countries unanimously adopted the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action, the most progressive blueprint ever, for advancing the rights of not only women, but girls. The public is hereby notified that in keeping with changes in international oil prices and government's application of the modified market pass-through petroleum pricing mechanism, the retail price of LPG 100 pound cylinder has changed. The retail price of gasoline, kerosene, diesel, LPG 20 and 22 pound cylinders remains unchanged. The price change takes effect from Monday, October 17, 2022. Gasoline remains unchanged at $3.89 per litre. Kerosene remains unchanged at $3.91 per litre. 
diesel remains unchanged at $3.89 per litre. 20 pound cylinder remains unchanged at $45.27 per cylinder. 22 pound cylinder remains unchanged at $49.79 per cylinder. 100 pound cylinder decreased from $318.64 to $313.07 per cylinder. The 20 pound cylinder is being subsidized at $17.35 per cylinder and the 22 pound cylinder is being subsidized at $19.08 per cylinder. The public is informed that the next adjustment of the retail price of fuel products will be on Monday, November 7th, 2022. Well, that's all we have time for today. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.